It's the Cyclone Looper. It's an eye set pedal. Uh, recently, I've been trying to stock up on a couple of, uh, at least the basic pedals that are needed for, for some studio recording and for doing these videos. Uh, obviously, a looper is important uh, when we're doing the Blues Licks videos, uh, etc. This, this pedal was, I think, $33, $34. It does everything that the TC Electronics pedal does. I, I think more too. It, it has a USB connection right here, and that can be used to download. I think uh, download, import, export WAV files of your loops. I don't think the original Ditto, and I've got a couple of the the original Ditto. Uh, Ditto looper pedals um, at the main studio and that I use on my, you know, my stage rigs uh, in, in, when performing and I use them in, in previous videos. But this pedal for setting up uh, the mini substation location galaxy studio here, this, this works just as well as the TC Electronics and it's Ditto pedal and it's much, much, much cheaper. Now, the other thing that's cool about it is, listen, it's got the quiet switch. And I've got another pedal here. This is something to watch out for. This is another iSet pedal, but listen to this guy. It's got the noisy switch. This is an overdrive pedal. Now, $35, it works. Um, it, same same control setup, uh, you know the double click, single click setup. Now there's a downside to a thirty dollar pedal versus uh, TC Electronics eighty nine ninety dollar pedal. One of one of the things I just noticed with this is, um, well, it doesn't it doesn't come with a power supply. Obviously, it it did I believe it did come with a little USB cable so you can do the downloads. I noticed, um, if you can see right there, some of the paint is chipped away on the little cyclone, and I, I took my finger and did this, and you can see I just put another chippy right there. So the paint that's on this thing just peels right off. Um, so level right there is gonna disappear. And this logo and Cyclone Loop and probably even the, the iSet logo down here is all gonna disappear soon. Um, just by rubbing on it with a fingernail, it disappears. But it is a good quality box. So the things to watch out for with these inexpensive Chinese pedals, these are all made in China. This overdrive's an iSet. Different sizes, okay? You would think that the, like TC Electronics, I, again, I'd, I don't have my TC pedals here, but most of the TC pedals have the same, same build, the same box. And these two are obviously different. This is a little bigger. It's got rubber feet right there. This has a whole rubber one piece foot, you know, different writings on the bottom. I don't know how they're stamping these out in China, but beware that you're going you, the same company, you might get, or at least we think it's the same company, you may get something different as far as the foot switches go. I prefer the quiet foot switch. But for $35 I'm, and for this substation recording location, I am going to keep this little cyclone pedal. Now the driver, the overdrive, noisy. You're gonna get that when you're switching on this guy. I'll have to test this out. I haven't tested it fully yet. But keep in mind when you're purchasing Chinese pedals, you might get a hit and you might get a possible miss. Pretty cool. Now on TC Electronics, on their $89 Ditto pedal, 
at least the original one. The, the manual I just looked at, it said that the USB port was for firmware updates. So I don't, I don't even know, and I haven't attempted, I don't know if you can transfer um, your, your, your loops back and forth to a, to a device, to a computer. Um, that, like I say, the manual just said firmware updates. So, and with the Cyclone iSet, you can transfer WAV files so you can save your loops. TC, five minute, five minute recording time, I think, on a loop. Same, same with this. Um, they don't come power supplies you have to supply yourself or power to it you need to supply. So aside from the paint chipping or paint peeling away uh, on the front of this pedal, it is, to me, every bit as good as my TC Electronics dittos. It's $35 versus $90, which is a plus. It has a good strong build. It's a tough metal box. Uh, I, I will be using this going forward here in the substation. Now, TC Electronics does have a Ditto Plus. It's a new version of the, the Ditto pedal. I'm, I keep holding this up, but this isn't, this isn't a Ditto. This is the Cyclone. Uh, TC has a version called Ditto Plus, which, which I believe uh, has all the functionality, of course, of the original Ditto, but it, it has a few dials on it and memory banks on board uh, in which you can store your, your patches, your loops, and it also has the ability with USB to offload and um, upload those. I forget, I forget the number of how many patches you can store, but that, that's convenient if you've got, if you're writing songs and you've got a, an ID in your head, you record it on the loop, record it on the looper, and you can pull it back the following week uh, if you forgot it, and there it is on the looper. Now for that feature, I, I pull out my iPhone and do a voice, voice memo, and I play something, and I've got, I've got that on my iPhone. I've got that on my iPhone. I'm looking for my iPhone and it's right here. <laughs> uh, but I've got probably, I would say 50 um, voice memos that are snips of songs that I'm, that I'm working on in this phone right here. Anyway, that's my two cents on Chinese pedals, Cyclone Looper by iSet. Hello. So you might ask, what, what exactly is a looper? What is a looper pedal? What, what does it do? What, what are its capabilities? Well, a looper takes the guitar signal, input into the looper box, and there it stores that signal. So, so you can pull that signal, that sound, that clip of music, and replay it, okay? Even something you played last week, if it's stored, you can pull it back up, play it, and re it repeats, it loops. Goes from the beginning to the end, goes back to the beginning, and back to the end again, over to the end. Now, the switch allows you to record the loop, okay? It allows you to record the loop. Two, it allows you to record loops on top of the original loop, okay? That's the second thing it can do. The third thing, you can stop the loop. Usually, usually that's a ding, ding, two hits on the loop, and the loop can stop. And the fourth thing, um, you've, got, you've got to delete the loop, right? So the switch on the box itself of the looper allows you to delete the, the loop and do those other things also. Now, how can a looper be used? Well, I think Mr. Vague mentioned in the video you can, you can store ideas on a looper, okay? Which is fun if you want to jam with yourself or rehearse or, or just practice, okay? You can... You can recall the loop and do 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 play play your guitar against the loop itself. 
which is cut throat practice. And Mr. Vegg, I've seen him perform as, you know, just a single solo acoustic guitar player singing. He does things like he'll use the loop at the end of a song. He'll, well, actually, while he's playing the song, he'll hit the loop to record a section of the song. And then at the end of the song, he'll play that loop, blend into the song itself. He'll get that loop going, and then he'll play some lead guitar over that loop. So that, that's simple ways of, you know, simple ways to use a, a looper box, a looper pedal. And they're fun little gadgets, but that's, that's mainly how these pedals work. Always remember, they take a signal coming from the instrument into the little pedal box, and then they do their little trickery inside the box, and then they spit it to the output, over to the amplifier, the PA system, and that's how the pedals work. That's what a looper does. Just like the TCE Ditto, two clicks to delete, and figure out what you want to record. Something like this. We'll just do something in, on an E chord. And click once to record. Two, three, four. And if you want to record another track, we just do another click. Two, three, four. Thank you. 